I was through here uh, a week ago. And so over the last week, we've got some images of wolves, deer, and grizzly bear. We have about 25 cameras set up through the backcountry. What they enable us to do is to uh, survey a lot more areas than we can actually travel to. Uh, you know, we're in all sorts of different habitats. We're here in the forest today. Uh, in a couple days, we're going to be hiking up with a big metal frame into some of the uh, alpine passes and setting up a camera there. And what we really have to our advantage in this landscape, say compared to the prairies or, or to big wetland complex, is that there are these natural pinch points where animals travel. And so a high notch and a high pass between two great valleys for habitat would be one point. And here's another point, you can't really see it, but we're actually in this extremely narrow pinch point in this valley. And all the uh, game that are p passing through here are being funneled right past this camera. So it's a, it's a great, great spot to uh, be able to pick up movement and have a sense for what's going on. Our goal with these ones is actually to monitor sow and cub groups of grizzly bears and Yellowstone has been doing this for about 30 years now and they use the proportion of, of family groups of grizzly bears uh, from year to year the trend is indicative of the trend of the overall grizzly bear population so obviously um, reproduction but also growth in the grizzly bear population as well it isn't just grizzly bears that we're interested in, we're also interested in uh, other carnivores, for instance, uh, wolves particularly. Right now we're thinking of doing a caribou reintroduction into uh, a western part of the park. And what really hinges on the success of that or not depends on how many predators there are or aren't. And so part and parcel of doing a caribou reintroduction, you have to pick your right time to have relatively low numbers of other prey and their predators. Over time, we'll hopefully be able to determine if populations of certain animals are going up or down. The statistics are developing in a way that you can actually do something called occupancy modeling. You are able to discern by your differences from one year to the next in what your cameras get in the same location you're able to discern uh, what the occupation of the surrounding landscape is by that particular species. Perfect. Do a couple here. This is my bear. I mean, part of the attraction is it's totally non-invasive. Uh, these cameras uh, go off without a flash and they use infrared wavelengths. And it's certainly much different than uh, radio collaring or or uh, or tagging. 